Hey guys, this is Day Orange Finger, and I will be reviewing the Battle of Endor. Number is 8038, 890 pieces, ages 9 to 14. Pretty easy build, but really nice set. Comes with a ton of minifigures. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 minifigures, that's a great deal. I got this for Christmas, of course. And then, um... So let's get on to the minifigures. First you got a Han Solo. I guess you couldn't really find him anywhere. So then, uh, yeah. And then next, we got Princess Leia, of course, with the new hair, real nice. Endor body with two-sided, double-sided torso, real nice. And these minifigures make the set. The Rebel Commandos, they're so awesome. Like, uh, you, like they it has this, like, two thing on the back, but it looks really nice. Cause they got a gun, rifle, both of them have a rifle. You got different faces. I'll show you the other one. And then they have these awesomely detailed hats. Very nice texture. I suggest going out and buying the set right now. Don't finish the review. Then you get another one with a, like, mustache, beard thing, I guess. Then you get, of course, an R2-D2. Yeah, it was kind of necessary to put him in the set, so yeah. Um, then you get a Chewbacca. If you don't have him, jump on this set, because you get some really nice minifigures also. So yeah. Next, uh, it's Poplo. He's really nice, except I don't know why Lego put this leaf thing there. It looks like a mistake, but it's actually a ton of leaves. Like two, I think. Yeah, so nice. Then you get Chief Chirpa. He's got this staff thing. Pretty nice. Just a regular old Ewok. Pretty nice. Yeah. And then Wicket is in the Ewok flyer. And he's right there. He's got some, like, detail on his thing, I guess. So, yeah. Oh. And the wings, of course, go down and up. I like them like this, though, because they look more accurate. Alright, so then, of course, you get, um, Imperial Trooper, it says? Yeah, it says Imperial Trooper, which is kind of weird. Should be like an Imperial Officer, or, um, I don't know, or a Death Star Trooper, or Endor Imperial Trooper. So yeah, which is kind of stupid, they named it. And then, of course, you get two nice Scout Troopers, very helpful if you don't have, like, a any Scout Troopers or whatever. So, yeah. And, of course, you get two of those. And in a lot of minifigures, so I'm going to take them all off. Uh, there's a lot of them, so it's going to be a little hard. Alright. Alright. So, the end... Endo parts. The first thing that I'm actually going to show you is, um... Let's see. Yeah, the speeders. Yeah. The old design speeders, they got like uh, lightsaber things and these. I think it works better other than the new Snow Trooper Battle Pack one, Battle Pack one with like the jousting thing. I think this works better because it's easier to like, build and stuff, but I like a challenge. So you, and then you get like this back part with some backpack and then you get two of those. Pretty nice. Helpful if you're making like a clone army like me. Box the bow and the boo out of the way. Alright, so then you get Ewok catapult. It's actually really cool. It actually really works, surprisingly. Like, yeah, you got some ammo right there. And let, me, let me show you how it does. Because it really works. It really does. Ready? Yeah, well, I didn't really press it that hard. It's kind of hard. But, yeah. But it is obviously very awesome. It works really good. Alright, next feature, we have the Ewok Flyer. It's really cool, except it's kind of difficult, I, I guess, to build. I didn't really, I had a little trouble with it. Like, got the net, netting backwards, and it still is, so... And it's kind of hard to stick the Ewok on there, because he's what holds it up. But then, 
It uses really good pieces, like it uses four of the fishing poles. Yeah, I'd suggest not building this, because it's really useless. Unless you want to build it, that's okay with me. It's not my set. Alright, so. Then you get the ATST. It's pretty cool. It's kind of like the old design with all the bricks on all the sides. And then you get it. Yeah. Then you can open it up. Let me get some lighting in there. Sorry. Yeah, there's a little cockpit in there. You see that piece? It's loose. I'm not going to show you the features. Like you put one of the... Um, well, you actually take... Let me get that out. Let me fix it. So you take this piece and you like... Put it... Somewhere. It, it doesn't stay open very well. You put it on top like that. Ugh. It's actually a very weird set, I guess. Well, it's actually, it's not the set. It's the ATST. It's kind of like unstable. <sighs> Sorry. Stupid ATST. I'll have to fix that. Yeah, but you can like put Chewbacca's hand on there and, it, and he stays up. Which is kind of a dumb idea. I guess. You can say whatever you want to say. And then you get the bunker. The bunker's very nice. I like it very much. Uh, of course, these are actually like buttons. Not, I'm sorry, that one actually went. Excuse me. Alright, this, this review is this review's not going as good as I thought. Alright, first you got opening doors with the gears in the back, and it looks really good fit about two minifigures in that door. So yeah, then all you do is close them up like that. Next, the feature, you got these two buttons right here. Like that, and you just like press them and the whole bunker explodes. Boom. Like that. And it works really good actually, surprisingly, once you like fix it. So yeah. Let me get this set back up. Pretty easy to set back up. It comes with just a little bit of Technic, not really a lot. It's more of like, well, I guess the gear part is with the door. Sorry about the outside noise from outside. It's just my dad, and he's um scooping up all the snow. We got a ton of snow, like a lot. So yeah. Oh, come on. All right, there we go. Next, you can, of course, turn it around, and you got some detail, pretty nice. Now all you do is just open up like that, and you can open up the bunker. This piece kind of fell off. Let's put that back. Alright. So you got rifle, I guess a gun. Well, what is a gun doing there? I don't really know. Well, there's the gears for the door. Mmm, that's really the only feature, I'm guessing. Let me look on the box and actually make sure. I might have left out something. Um, oh, I forgot something with the ATSD. I'm sorry, yeah. If I can ever fix it, though. Mm. I'm going to try one more time. It's not very stable. Like with the Ewok flyer, probably don't build this either. It's kind of just a waste. Alright, this is going to have to do for now. Mm, okay. So there, there's that. Hey, yeah. Okay, the kind of stupid part is that this gear makes the legs move like that. You can't do it on the ground unless you like pick one side up. It's kind of stupid. So yeah, I'll have to fix it. Kind of broke. And that's pretty much it for the whole set. Overall, good set. So, it's big orange finger, and I'm. Out.